What's up guys, it's Bro Henderson here. So we're playing a game that I found out about maybe five days ago, and I have been so excited. Uh, it's called Tales of Iron, where you play a rat knight, or rat prince, rat king, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, so, some of you may know I used to have a pet rat, who was my best friend for a few years. Uh, his name was Rathead. Uh, that was supposed to be a temporary name, but it kind of stuck. And we never really gave him an actual name, so he just was Rathead forever. Uh, so, you know, I, I really, I, I was kind of drawn to this game. It looks awesome. Very excited. Uh, and so I saw this and thought I would make a little intro here. You know, this person did in memory of, they've got all their uh, rats here, so... Uh, that's pretty awesome. So I'm going to name this series the Chronicles of Rathead. And <clears throat> and just for our own personal lore, we'll say before Rathead was ever my pet, he was a prince. Guys, enjoy the video. For centuries and longer, rats have fought tirelessly to repel the incessant frog invasions. Peace was only ever short-lived, until finally a young monarch rose to power. King Rattus, first of his name, unified the rat kingdoms under one rule, repelling Greenwort and his kind back to the putrid swamps from whence they came. Crops prospered, families flourished, and the magnificent Crimson Keep climbed ever higher toward the sky. But as time passed, King Redis the Savior grew old, and the kingdom vulnerable once more. His people grew anxious, some claiming to perceive a faint odor in the air. Greenwort had returned with a ferocious vengeance. Amassing an army of unfathomable scale, he burned everything in his path towards the Crimson Keep. King Rattus gazed down upon his withered claws, barely able to hold the crown. He had little hope of wielding a sword. So it was decided the crown should pass to Whiskers new. Arise, young prince, for the kingdom needs a hero. And so, your tale begins. Oh, this is epic. <laughs> it's morning. Time to get dressed. Okay. When his squire woke him with this god-awful noise, the young prince was dreaming about this day, just like he had for months. Now it was here, he better be ready. Ah, right, what do we got here? Helmet. Yeah, little crown, I guess. Alrighty. A shield. Ooh, a light and a medium shield. We've got this one, just brings up the fence, and we've got the medium one. Oh, it also just brings up the fence. What does the light one look like? Hmm. I kind of like the medium one better, I think. Oh, we got two swords here. This one weighs a little bit more, but it's uh, a little bit stronger. Yeah, we're going to go with that one. to go see the king. 
All right, let's go right ahead. Is this right? Oh wow, it's a lot of it's a lot of area. Oh boy. If he'd known how unlike a dream today would be, he might have stayed in his bed. What's in here? Somewhere I'm not supposed to go yet, I think. We'll explore it later. Okay, you sit to save the game. Gotcha. somebody for the crown and then eat or maybe I should eat to get strength so I can fight somebody for the crown all the prince had ever wanted was to prove worthy of his father's crown he might be the smallest brother but if he was prepared he thought he had some small chance Hey, you. Help me out here. Oh, he's busy. Here we go. Kitchen. This is where we need to go. Oh, what is this? Ingredients. Interesting. Okay. Reggie's brother, the chef, offered a fine menu. But after Dennis had eaten, there was no food left. Chef would need new supplies from the cellar if Reggie wanted a decent breakfast. Some roots. Yes, give me the berries. The bard had found the last of the summer raspberries in the bare basement. The bard was quick to offer one, even though they weren't his. <laughs> All right, well, we got some water, roots, and berries. That might be enough to get us a decent breakfast. All right, Mr. Chef, I've got goodies. He had the ingredients. His brother, the chef, would make you a feast fit for kings. Or so he says. Reggie only ever gets his brother Dennis's leftovers, so he wouldn't know. Oh, are we going this way, little buddy? I guess you need uh, materials for new weapons and armor and stuff too. His brother, the smith, could forge armor and weapons to see off any enemy. He'd make some for Reggie. If the young prince could find blueprints for a rat of his stature. Dummy training. We will do that.
His eldest brother didn't think Reggie could hit a target, even if it was standing still. But Reggie had been training hard. Freshly squeezed bug juice. Drink of champions. Nothing better after a long fight. The training dummy's red attacks were too strong to block. It was fast. But Reggie could be faster. Not even Reggie could dodge the dummy's yellow attacks. His only hope was to parry with his trusty shield. Bring it on, frog. Oh, I didn't time that very good. Shook the ground. Reggie would need to dodge to remain unscathed. Oh. Gotta keep filled up on the bug juice. Dennis was impressed. If Reggie could just grow another couple inches, he might even have been worried. Trial by combat. Oh boy. Reggie'd never seen the Crimson Fort so full of rat folk. The whole kingdom was there. Some even cheered for him. But the king had let his eldest brother lead the procession. Oh, yeah, we should save it. Let's do this, little buddy. Right heads ascension. If he was scared, he wasn't showing it. He was going to show all of them what he was made of. If nothing else, this would be no easy win for Dennis. Ah, right, buddy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, snap. Come on, buddy. Oh, snap. Ah, yes, it's time to end this. That was kind of exhilarating. It was fun. My king, I'm ready for the crown. He done it. He proved himself a worthy heir to his father's kingdom. And the king is dead. His dream was about to come apart. No, it's not. I can type him. Oh, snap. It didn't last very long. The prince woke this time from a dream of blood and frog spawn. Finding he had neither a crown, nor a kingdom, nor a father. We must have vengeance. He needed a place to recover, somewhere to make a plan. I don't remember how to heal, honestly. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, snap. What are those? Darts? Arrows, maybe? Hey, it gives me some bug juice. Good deal. Yeah, we're full up now. Is that a secret area up there? If it is, we want it. Yeah.
Ah, we do not have the key. We have to go find it. Rathead must have his revenge. Must slay every frog. Ooh, what's this? Oh, the bench. What is that? Man, I wish I knew how to open up my inventory. Yeah, I'm not sure. Crimson Fort Sewer Key. Good deal. I found some more, whatever that is. Arrow, darts. We have a bow. I don't think we can get him. Crimson four. Oh no! Oh, I saved one. Good, good, good. Man, at least we put up a fight. Not content with killing the king. The frog horde had torn down his throne room, leaving behind little more than smoldering rubble and the bodies of his kin, dead and defiled. Wretched had never seen such evil, nor felt such rage. Give me that spear. Dang! Oh shoot. It's a good thing we just saved it, right? <laughs> that gum. I need to be more careful this time. There we go. Let's go, right head. Yeah. Hey, it's my buddy. We need to find the crown. Oh, he has it. 
Reggie had his crown at last, but not his kingdom. Dennis. Dennis had returned, but shamefaced. Drunk from drowning his sorrows in the village, he couldn't hold back the frogs there, or stop them taking their brother, the chef. Oh no. Let's save Reggie chef. He had to get to Longtail Village to rescue his brother, and fast. If he could fix the travel board, it'd show the quickest way. More than one use for a hammer. And its work on the frog skull seemed to be done. He's gonna start repairing. He wants meat. He needs a hammer and nails. I've got the hammer. Okay. Nails. Good deal. Good deal. Nice. Now we can travel. This is great. Guys, this was the tutorial and prologue. And I guess the first mission. But I'm so excited about this. Tales of Iron. Guys, thank you for watching. Expect a full playthrough of this game. I am pumped.